Hi, I'm Sean League with I Squared uh, Engineering, and today I'm going to go over uh, eye gauging's uh, three-point internal micrometer, and this is a basically a replacement for a, a bore gauge. Yeah, pretty cool instrument. It uh, is very accurate for measuring bore uh, bore holes, and so it actually comes with a ring gauge to calibrate. Um, this one happens to be, you can see on the top there, it says uh, six point or 0.6299 inches, so that's the exact uh, diameter uh, internally there. Uh, and that's what you use to calibrate the, uh, the actual gauge here. So if we want to calibrate that, uh, how you do that is on the look at three buttons here. So hold the red button down until it starts to flash. Okay, and then to move to the next one, uh, so we want to put it at 0.622, so I hit this button again, and that moves to the next uh, spot there. And then it can go up or down by pushing these two buttons. So I'm gonna make set that to uh, six. Oh, sorry. Actually, that, that's zero. So we wanna set that to zero, and then we go to the next one to set to six. So you see that point. There, point six, and then go to the next field. And it said uh, six, two, nine, nine. So we want to set this to two. Okay, go to the next one. Now it is a nine. And I'll change that to a, a nine. Okay, and then I hold the red button down. Okay, so now I've set that so that when I actually set it uh, in the ring gauge and then I click this button, which is, will zero it out, it'll zero out to the ring gauge's dimension. So I'll show you right now. So I put that into the ring gauge, like so, and then rotate the knobs here until you're all the way out, and it will, it will click once it reaches uh, the maximum size, so that way you know you're, you're done. Okay, and uh, so now I have it set, see it says, uh, 0.7879 there. So now I hold the calibration button down, or sorry, sorry, this is set zero button down, and it will reset to the 0.6299. Okay, so you now you can see that you know after I've pushed the, the gray button and held it down, if you just hold it down for a second, it's going to change it from metric to, to English and back and forth. But if you hold it down for more than a second, it'll actually then set that as a zero point, which is the the calibration we set earlier. Now, I can't just pull this out of the ring gauge. I have to you know, release some tension, but I want to keep my number. So what you can do is use the yellow button here. That's a hold. And when you press that, it will actually hold this even though I turn the knob. So I can still look at my measurement without, uh, without affecting it. So that's that hold button. Then once you're done, you can release the hold and now it'll It'll move again. Okay, and now you've calibrated uh, the instrument and you can use it to measure any uh, hole from uh, 0.472 inches to 0 0.630 inches. And that's just for this one. They actually make uh, um, the three point internal micrometers all the way from a quarter inch up to four inches in diameter, which is the same as uh, about six millimeters up to 101 millimeters or so. So, and it does have the capability of um, putting the data out to a computer um, via the, the cord here. The cord plugs into the top. I'll have to release that first. So, in the top there, just pull this back. It takes me a second. Okay. And then you can plug in your uh, cord and put the data to a computer. I just plug that uh, cord in there. Snaps in. And then you can see here on my screen when I push this orange button, the data shows up on the screen. Okay. And if you don't want to use wired, they also have a wireless version and a um, Bluetooth version. So that's also a possibility. And if you are in a situation where this barrel is not long enough, they do offer extensions as well. So, 
Uh, and that's about it. Um, really good product. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.